Hi everyone. Today I want to share a card that we made at Stamp Camp on last week Saturday. And I always like to use my leftover card kits to do a video when I get home. So this is one of the cards that we made. And I want to show you how to put it together. The interesting part about this card, the feature here, is this basket weave that goes down the side. I was given a card with this technique from one of my downline. It was a beautiful Valentine card and I always wanted to try it. And so I finally got around to trying it even though it's now fall. So look at the inside. That really pretty basket weave along the edge there. And it's really simple to achieve. So I thought I would share it really quick. So the idea came from a website called Split Coast Stampers. If you're not familiar with Split Coast Stampers, I recommend that you go and check it out. It's splitcoaststampers.com and it's a wonderful resource. They have hundreds of tutorials. They have forums for people who love stamping, all things stamping. They have a special forum just for stamping up demonstrators. I think there's probably forums for a few other things too. Um, but um, it's really a nice resource for sharing and you can join their fan club page which gets you into a few more of the idea galleries. And it's a great way to support the community but it's a free site but it's always nice to support too if you can. And um, anyway they have a tutorial section so if you click on the tutorial section and in the search put in basket weave. I think you can type in lattice and you'll get it too. Um, they'll give you this um, template and then you can print it out for yourself. So you don't even have to do all these little measurements. So I'm not even going to give you these little measurements because I want you to go to Split Coast Stampers because it's so great and I want you to see that resource library. So check that out. SplitCoastStampers.com SplitCoastStampers.com All run together and uh, check it out. Okay, so let's get to it. You'll see what I did here is I cut out, I'll show you what the printout looks like. It's like this. So you can make several cards and um, print that out and put your paper clips to hold it down right where it goes and you'll see that the this little you want the arrows kind of going down and I call them arrows to me they look like arrows but little slash lines I guess and at the top you have a little space and they do have that on the template you'll see that the there's a line that extends a little bit and that's where you want the top of your card to be so it's just like that. And you'll notice that the lines are longer and then shorter and longer and shorter. That's intentional. Don't try to even them out thinking that they just didn't use their pen all the way down. So we're going to cut. I'm going to snip. You need a really nice pair of paper snips. These are from Stampin' Up! and they're super sharp. It gives you that nice clean cut. Okay, now here on your template, this one is not cut out, so you have to remember to cut this last one out. So you're going to do the long one and the short one, and then you're going to go straight across, parallel to the end of the card. And don't throw this away, you're going to need this. Okay, so I've got all my cuts made so I can remove my template. Okay, so now you need to open up your card. Okay, so start at this bottom one and you're going to ignore the very next, um, I call them arrows, but they're slits. I don't know why I call them arrows, but in my head they're arrows. And you're going to ignore the next one, but the so it's kind of like the spacer and you're going to take this one and fold it down make it nice and straight so that score line in the center of your card matches there and then tuck it under no need to glue just tuck it under then skip the next one and do the same thing tuck it under skip this one and tuck it under
Okay, so this one, you're like, oh, I wish I could tuck one under. That's where this comes in. So you're going to take this and you're going to adhere it to the top. Tiny bit of glue will do the trick. Tuck it under and then line it up to the top of your card. There you go. So now you're all the way up to the top. Now I'm going to set that aside to dry while I do my stamping. So you'll see for this card, I've got these pretty fall leaves in a few different tones. And the colors I use to achieve that are Cherry Cobbler, Cajun Craze, and Crushed Curry. And I use some sponge daubers. These are also from Stampin' Up! and they're an awesome item to have on hand. Now how I got these leaves sponged is I made myself a template. I made myself a stencil and I used the Colorful Seasons bundle. The uh, stamp set is called Colorful Seasons. The dies are called Seasonal Layers. They're an awesome die set because it has every season. You've got leaves for fall, flowers for spring and summer, some winter snowflakes, some waves. It's really a great, a great die set. And I used this leaf right here and I cut out on a piece of window sheet or acetate. I just cut a few of them out and I kind of alternated the direction that they were going. And I just made myself a stencil. It's nice that you can make stencils out of any of your dies. So kind of keep that in mind. And on this piece of Very Vanilla, I placed my stencils. Um, the Very Vanilla piece is five by three and his matte piece is five and a quarter by three and a quarter and it's early espresso. So I just laid my little template down and I opened my ink pads. I got a glare right there from my light, sorry. <laughs> okay, so I have these little daubers and I sponged, I kind of did a little circular motion with my sponge daubers and I lightly sponged I guess not lightly, I kind of twisted it in. If you wanted to, you could use some washi tape to kind of hold your stencil in place. I think I can manage without it. I'm not using any rhyme or reason to my coloring here. I'm just kind of putting down color. And then I pick up my stencil. I'm just going to move it. You can um, overlapping a little bit is nice. Now your stencil is going to get a little inky. So um, if you're going to you might pick up some ink on your crushed curry sponge. Just kind of go like this and get some off so you don't get Cajun craze into your crushed curry very much. And then you're going to move it again. Just kind of decide how full you want your leaves. How, how many leaves you want to go down the side. I'm going to speed up the video a little bit as I do a few more. I think I like that for the outside. I do want to stamp one more. There's two pieces of this very vanilla. One is for the inside of the card and I'm going to put one more leaf at the bottom of the inside. There. You can just wipe this stencil off and use it over and over again. The fall leaves are good for just about any occasion. So if you know someone with a fall birthday, find a birthday stamp that looks nice. Um, I've got this one is Thinking of You and it comes straight from the Colorful Seasons stamp set down here. So there's congratulations in here too. This is a beautiful stamp set to go along with the dies. And if you buy the two together, you get a nice discount of 10% for buying the bundle. And we're gonna use this leaf, which is just the outside, like just shows the veining of the leaf and we're going to stamp that 
in early espresso. You know, I'm going to stamp my sentiment first because I want to make sure I know exactly where I, it places before I put the leaves. So I have a birthday. I have a thinking of you. Now I'm going to do a thanks. This is from the Thankful Thoughts stamp set. Which I haven't used before. So I want to practice on the side here. And then I'm going to use this leaf. Ah, having problems today. I'm turning it every once in a while. So I have leaves going in various directions. There we go. And if you have a stamp for the inside, Go ahead and put that down. And now we're just going to assemble. So here's my card, all nice and dry. I'm going to press down these little folds so they stay down. And the front panel I have a mat for, so I'm going to put that onto my early espresso piece. And that just goes right down on the front. Now you can decide if you wanted to add some ribbon down the side here. On some I did. Like this one, I added some copper trim. On this one, I didn't. I couldn't decide if it was needed or not, or if it was too much. So you decide if it needs some ribbon or not. And there you go. That is the basket weave edge. It's so pretty, and your recipient's going to say, how did they do that? And they don't know how simple it was. Thanks so much for watching the video. Check out splitcoaststampers.com and uh, look at all their tutorials and come back and check me out sometime too. I'd love to see you back and hope you subscribe to my channel. Thanks so much for watching. Bye-bye.